Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see which language to start with as a fresher. As we have so many options out there like C, C++, Java, Python and many more. So let's get started. The oldest language is C. As a fresher, don't go with this language as it is quite tough, complex and it's not as much popular as any other language in the IT industry. Same with C++. C++ is also not as demanding as any other language in the IT field. So here I am excluding C and C++ as your preferred first language to start with. Now we are left with Java and Python. So before proceeding here, I just want you guys to first understand the uses or the application of Java and Python in different projects in IT industry. If you know this, then it will be easier for you to decide. I have already covered the application of Java and Python, difference between Java and Python, and in the industry, what is the advantages and disadvantages of Java and Python? In one of my video, I will provide you the link in the description box. That is Java versus Python. Now, if you know the answer, it will be easier for you to decide on parameter I'm going to cover here. Now, before proceeding to this video, guys, I have a very important announcement for you. I'll hardly take one or one and a half minute. Please bear with me. Do you know that a lot of companies now offer jobs based on your skills? So you don't need to worry if you don't have a degree or experience. Talent and skills, all that matters. If you think you have all the relevant skills for a job in business development, then the guaranteed salary for 4 LPA for non-technical role and 6 LPA for technical role and this can go up to 15 LPA and there is no age restrictions over here to apply. Experienced candidate can get up to 50% hike in their salary by applying to their next job through re-level. I'm going to share with you two amazing company that will hire you in next 15 days. India Mart and Zoso Day who have not heard of these companies. These companies are now hiring freshers and people with no experience through re-level by an academy. So all you have to do, register for re-level test, which is totally no video resume required anymore. Those who are familiar with this website, there was a video resume required, but now it is not there. Means the registration process is quite straightforward. After this, you can take the test as per your comfort time and date and you can get this amazing job based on your skills. Check out the re-level achiever Twitter handle where you can see how many people have started their dream career through this platform. All links are there in the description. Go ahead and check it out. And now let's come to this video. Firstly, we are living in India where Java has captured almost all the projects as well as jobs in the IT industry. If I talk about other countries like USA and any other, then there the Python could be in demanding. So it's not a bad decision to go with Java as your preferred language in India. Check out this three my most favorite website from where I learned Java. Starting with Java T point, Jobs for, for times, jobs for times is for professional who has less time and so much work to do. In this small amount of time, they can brush up their Java basic concept with the help of jobs for time. Third website is for practicing purpose, geeks for geeks. These are three of my favorite websites to where from where I started learning Java. Hope this video was informative to you. If it was informative to you, don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching.